and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Silver. And in this part, we are going to continue on to the um, Victory Road. Oh, I'm sorry, my mouse is in the picture. And yep, let's just skip around her. Let's see, oh, do I have to fight this guy? No, I don't. Yes, I do. <laughs> because he's in the same screen screen as me. Apparently, he has good eyesight. So yeah guys, luckily um, I am the 10% on Long Island with power right now. Literally only 90% of us are out of power. But I have power, that means I can record. And you know, my thoughts and prayers go out to everyone else who, you know, was affected by Hurricane Sandy. Luckily me, I have no damage, my car wasn't damaged, um, nothing honestly and I'm very thankful for that and I hope you know we make a fast recovery because a lot of Long Island is underwater right now uh, four feet uh, surges six feet surges in some parts uh, phone wires everything man I just went around today and I was looking at stuff like uh, fallen trees and it just looks bad I saw a lot of stuff a lot of cars destroyed, a lot of homes destroyed. It was just bad, you know. Luckily, I live towards the middle of Long Island. And, um, I don't know what... Like I mentioned in my video, I live literally right across the street from my largest lake. Lake Ronkonkoma. And fucking nothing. No flooding. And I was really surprised. I mean, it's really rough today. I walked down to the lake today. And... It's, r it's rough, but no flooding. I mean, there was a fallen tree over there. I didn't see who that was, but, uh, let's send out Obsidian. Okay, whatever. Um, but yeah, it's just a lot of, <sighs> a lot of crap thrown around. Tons of it. The city's underwater. My boy, my boyfriend's house is pretty fucked up. He has a tree in his pool. He lives all the way out in the Hamptons. He has a fucking tree in his pool. And his building out in uh, New York, the city, New York City, as you guys know, it is completely trashed. The basement is flooded. He's got fucking live wires, fucking sparking and everything on the first floor. And it's insane. And I mean, he doesn't own the building, but you know. But yeah, I'm, I'm not really gonna get too far into that. But subways are fucked up. Everything's fucked up. Nobody has power, except for me. I'm that lucky 10%. But I will be pulling my resources and trying to help you guys. Well, you know, people out. Queens is flooded. Oh man, it's just bad. Bad, 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 bad. But, it, it was honestly, for me, it wasn't that bad. I had a worse time during Irene, ironically. Alright, Wilton. Wilton wants to talk to us again, but no one cares what Wilton has to say. He, he's that idiot that talked about his one Pokemon. Even after he evolves it, he still calls it a Goldeen. Because it does eventually evolve. And man, that guy is so annoying. Okay, let's, uh, we have to fight this, uh, we have to fight this guy. He's a mandatory fight, so might as well show it. Apparently you cannot just go on your merry way to the Pokemon League. Oh, come on, cool trainer, Jake. You and your Parasect. Who the fuck uses Paris, anyway? Alright, you know what? Fuck it. Roll out. I barely ever use this move. You're going to be seeing a lot of this move, though, when I fight Lance. Yeah, use your sword stance. You have shitty fucking attacks anyway. You're going to be dead the next turn. There. How much did that help you? You should have fucking put me to sleep or something. And then did that. That would have been much better. Gold duck? Okay. Uh, let's use... Struggle! Golduck looks really cool in this game. 
Ugh, but yeah. My night last night, it was kind of scary at some points, but man, the wind was crazy. Insane. We still, even after it went to, it turned into a tropical storm, I think around like 9 o'clock. And, but the winds were still like insane. I heard, when I was driving around today, I heard a transformer. Like, I was checking out with my father and my friends and stuff like that. And a fucking transformer went out. And it was down the block at my friend's house. And it was just like, boom, like that. I was like, holy crap. It scared the shit out of me. I thought it was a fucking gunshot or something. And, oh, man. Man, oh, man. It's just it's bad. And, yep, we have another guy. It, uh, no. Fuck. You're, you're, don't you have, like, a Rapidash or some shit? I think this lady has, like, a Rapidash and, like, something. I'm so over these fights. I just want to get into Victory Road. Oh, I was right. It is a Rapidash. I love Rapidash, even though it's a shitty Pokemon. Honestly, guys, Rapidash is not that great, but whatever. You'd think it'd be better, but it's not. See? Not that great. Oh, uh, this move is so annoying. It's gonna hit like three or four times, isn't it? Three times. Okay, and a critical hit. Awesome. So now I'm digging. You're screwed. You don't have bounce in this game. Bounce is such a dumb move. It's like, really? It takes you two turns? What are you doing in the air for two turns? Is it like in Pokemon Stadium? Like, when a Pokemon uses Fly, sometimes, in Pokemon Stadium, it's just sitting there in the air. Like, just chilling, not even flapping its wings or anything. At least that's how I remember it. I don't know, but it's, it's really odd. And here we go, guys. Ready? Nothing epic like they did in Pokemon Red or Blue or Yellow, Green. Only trainers who have proven themselves may pass. Oh, the eight badges of Johto. Please go right ahead, sir. Yeah, I'm a sir. And these guys, they're blocking off entrances. I wonder where this goes. Off to the Pokemon League. Are you the Elite Four are strong, so it's scary. They're ready for you. No shit. Who g What's this way? This way leads to Mount Silver. You'll see scary strong Pokemon out there. I'm sure my Pokemon can take it. Come on, bro. Alright. I'm gonna cut it. Here we go. With the wild battles. I'm gonna cut them all out. Honestly, it's just Onyx, Graveler, Golbat, shit like that. Nothing too interesting. Nothing we haven't seen. And I believe it's this way we go, right? On fan. Oh, but there are stuff here. There are stuff. There are, are stuff. Oh, wow. This is going up pretty high. I hope my audio quality isn't too fucked up. It, looking at the thing, it looks like it's too close. Hold up. Here we go. Alright. Yeah, that's a little bit healthier. Because I like to be crystal clear, but I don't want to be like... On the fucking mic either. Max Revive. We could use that later on. And the little gauntlet we're going to be going through very soon. Oh my god. Yeah, you can find Dawn Fan here too. I don't know if I just said that like five seconds ago, but oh my god. Okay, guys. Um, yeah, you can catch Dawn Fan here. Oh my god, these fucking battles. Yeah, Sandy got pretty fucked up in the last battle. Okay, let's just get out of here, please. Please. I really hate this dungeon. I don't know why. Victory Road just doesn't seem that epic to me in this game. God damn it. I mean, in red, blue, and yellow, you can catch Moltres. Yeah, Onyx you can find here, apparently. Oh my god. Fuck this shit. Here comes Struggle. Man, Sandy got fucked up. It's because this Graveler, um, if you use Magnitude and uh, your opponent used Dig, you can hit them. And the fucking Graveler had a Magnitude of 8. So, yeah. Sandy kind of got messed up there. Thankfully, Struggle just leveled up and he's taking people out like nobody's business. And, uh, did I just come this way? Wait. Oh, R Rory at the end. Oh, damn. 
Hold it. Are you going to take the Pokemon League challenge? Don't make me laugh. You're so much weaker than I am. I'm not like I was before. I now have the best and strongest Pokemon with me. I'm invincible. Yeah, okay, Lindsay. This is Lindsay's final fight, other than something I will get into a bit later, and I will be showing. But this is the last scripted fight where it invol directly involves the storyline. And yeah, he sends out a Sneasel, but that's okay, because my Pokemon are going to shit all over him. Uh... Well, fuck. Let's send out Naked, because Naked kind of got beefed up quite a bit. Through the, uh, whatchamacallit. The last episode. And hopefully, hopefully this episode won't be so... I don't know. Short. Because my past few episodes have only been like 11 minutes, 10 minutes. I mean, I, I want to... I want to get enough done in every video, and I think I do a pretty good job of that. I get a lot done. A lot shown off. A lot of storyline. I mean, I don't think... 50 parts, probably, most, this Let's Play is going to be. And honestly, it's coming to a close. I'm kind of upset about it. I really had a lot of fun making this. I mean, I am doing the after game, but I'm just saying, like, the after game is not nearly... It's pretty epic, but, you know, it's, it's more for, like, uh nostalgia. I think that's really what made this game so appealing when it first came out, that you go back to Jota Ups, go back to Kanto, and they actually, yeah, they actually gave it a name. See, Kanto wasn't Kanto until the second generation, because that was the only Pokemon world. That was it. And then this game kind of expanded on it and showed, hey, yo, there's more places. And I, I think that's great, honestly. But I wish it was more like they would provide a map or something or make it so like in the later versions you can go back to these areas that would just be awesome you know like they really need to make a game where you can catch what you can there's like every single pokemon available to you and you can go everywhere Hoenn like you can revisit these places years down the line and I think that's what they really nailed in this game oh shit no. No. Shit. Um, let's use naked. Come on, we are not going this far to get taken out by fucking Lindsay. Come on, I just shit on the past, like, five gym leaders. Like, completely shit on them. So there's no reason why we should be going through this right now. And I swear, if I had not did something stupid twice in a row with that Graveler, we would be in good shape right now. But right now, I'm pretty fucked up. I mean, well, not really. I have one Pokemon down, but that's fucked up in my opinion, because honestly, I have high expectations for my team. My team has shown that they're pretty decent. Let's use Fain Attack. I guess Lindsay's too stupid to figure out how to get a Gengar at this point. Yeah, shitty defense, not fast enough. Sorry, bro. That's the only thing. Gang but Gengar isn't one of those Pokemon that's meant to stay out for a really long time. Gengar is more of those, one of those Pokemon that's like, okay, too fast for something to beat to it. So you know what? It just knocks things out. It's like a one-hit KO. It, it really doesn't stand on its own. If it can't one hit KO something, because then you fucking, you can use Pursuit or something and it's dead. Psybeam, something, you know what I mean? And, I mean, that sucks, but that, that's the only thing that really sucks about Gengar. But Gengar, honestly, I think, as far as the most powerful Pokemon ever, I mean, the best strategically for battling, I'd have to say... That Gengar is up there. And that's excluding, like, legendaries. Because we know Mewtwo... We all know Mewtwo is ridiculously broken. He's a broken Pokemon. You can beat anybody with Mewtwo. If, if it has the right move set, and, you know, it's not doomed. But, you know, Mewtwo's a pretty broken Pokemon. But honestly, Gengar... Gengar himself was kind of broken, too. Because he's just ridiculous. 
If he's trained right, he's ridiculous. He has the right moveset, ridiculous. My brother's Gengar is a, such a fucking asshole. I hate that thing. So much. Okay, his Typhlosion's dead. I want a Typhlosion so bad right now. You guys have no idea how bad I want a Typhlosion right now. A Kadabra, and guess what, bro? I'm gonna send out Obsidian again just because. Just because I, I don't want to deal with your bullshit anymore. I, I mean, I just want to get this battle over with because poor Sandy is fainted. And I, honestly, Sandy doesn't deserve that. It's honestly not his fault that he got fucked up. It's kind of my fault because I was dumb. There we go. You son of a bitch. Oh well. You know what? Just be a dick. Wait, how am I faster than his Kadabra? Apparently he didn't figure out how to get Alkazam either. There we go. Boom. I couldn't win. I gave it everything I had. What you possess and what I lack, I'm beginning to understand what that Dragon Master said to me. It's probably because you raise all your Pokemon via rare candy. I haven't given up on becoming the greatest trainer. I'm going to find out why I can't win and become stronger. Maybe it's because you're a ginger and you use rare candies. I mean, obviously, there's no fucking reason why Umbreon should be outspeeding a Kadabra. Even if he is five levels higher. I mean, come on now. Let's be realistic. And yeah, so let's heal up our Pokemon. And I'm going to show this on screen because Sandy, Sandy deserves it. Sandy deserves to be healed up with honor. An honorary heal. That's what I'll give him. Okay. Let me just show off a few things. This is like any other Pokemon Center. Okay? This guy will send you home if you want to go back. See? He has an, ab an Abro with you. If you're not ready, you need to train some more for whatever reason in Johto. And, you know, you're too much of a diva to do it in Kanto. You can, you know, go home and do that. Over here, you have, um actually threw me off. I was expecting to go this way. But this guy is the, uh, what do you call it? You can buy tons of shit from him. Ultra Balls, Max Repels, I don't know why you need that for the final fight. Hyper Potions, Max Potions, which will heal you up completely. Full Restores, which honestly are the best fucking things you can possibly have. Heals all your HP. It's basically a Max Potion and a full heal in one got your revives I might pick up some of that and uh, yeah so in the next part my Pokemon first of all let's get uh wondering where Squidward is he's in my box let's go grab him and then I'm gonna show you my levels and I'm because I'm gonna train up like crazy let's see let's get rid of red Gyarados cuz I'm sorry red Gyarados you're not coming into the Elite four of us. Sorry, but I have another water type. I would use you, but you know what? I picked someone else for this Let's Play. Somebody different. Somebody I never use. So yeah. These are the po this is what I have to work with as of right now. And what is going to be beefed up till no fucking rec recognition. We got Struggle. We got Naked. Noctowl, Sandy, Obsidian, and we got Squidward. And their move sets, I I think, are pretty decent. I might go fix them up a bit. Who really knows? I'll show. You, I'll make sure to show you guys all my changes before I continue. But honestly, I think we're ready. But the thing is, I do want to level up quite a bit, because honestly, even if I go in now, Lance is going to shit all over me. Because they go into like late 40s and stuff, and I don't want to be too... My Pokemon will probably be like 45, between 45 and 50, when I next see you guys. So, this has been Project Slammy, and I will see you guys next time when we begin the final fights of the game. Well, the Johto storyline, at least. Then we're going to take over Kanto. Alright, see you guys. Bye.